OK, so today we're going to look at how you can streamline the Edge browser. Now, Edge is a brilliant browser. It's based on Chromium, but it's got lots of these extra features in it, which, to be quite frank, most of us don't even use. But they all take up power from our computer, slowing down our browsing experience, slowing down the startup of the browser and just basically there for no reason. And I tend to find the more stuff you've got on there, the more things you've got to go wrong. So if you can streamline something, then all well and good. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. So as I say, Edge is a brilliant browser based on Chromium and it's got loads of these great features, but not a lot of us actually use those added features in Edge. So let's have a look, see how we can switch those features off, streamline Edge, make it run a bit more stable and hopefully a bit more quicker and make your PC run a bit more quicker too. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, what we need to do is we just need to go up to the three dots just up there in the top right hand corner. Left click once on that. Go down to settings, left click once on that too. And let's just go into privacy search and services. Let's click on that. So let's scroll down to the privacy section and keep going down until you get down to search and service improvement. And here we've got help improve Microsoft products by sending the results from searches on the web. This sends the results from searches to Microsoft. Do we really want these results being sent to Microsoft? No, we don't. It takes up system resources. It also takes data. So turn that off. Personalization and advertising allow Microsoft to save your browsing activity, including history, usage, favorites, web content and other browsing data to personalize Microsoft Edge and Microsoft services like ads, search, shopping and news. Well, again, I don't really want all that being sent to Microsoft. I feel it's an invasion of my privacy and it again takes up data and system resources to be able to do that. Scroll down further. I would say leave the security settings alone. Whilst you do want to cut back on uh, some of the resources, you really don't want to do this compromising your security. So I would say make sure all of these are turned on. Now we're going to keep going down until we get to the services section. Now, here we've got a couple of options. We've got use a web service to help resolve navigation errors. So this is where perhaps, for instance, a website doesn't load for whatever reason. It tells you a bit more about it and in some cases could redirect you to what it thinks is the correct website. I would say leave that on. That can be quite helpful. The next one is suggest similar sites when a website can't be found. I've never really had to use this. If you haven't, then turn that off. Don't worry. If you find something stops working, you can always come back here and turn it on again. Save time and money with shopping in Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge will help you find coupons, cashback and other savings whilst you're shopping. Now, really, if you've never never needed to use this service, what you sometimes get is you get a little ticket come up in the address bar at the top of the screen and that gives you deals and vouchers like it says on here. But again, I've never ever used that service. Turn it off if you've never used it. Show collections in Microsoft Edge. Now collections is just up here. And if I click on that, what it means is, is I can add websites to one of these collections, to a wish list, a reading list, a video playlist, a cookbook, or create a new collection. It's a bit like bookmarks or favorites really, but I must admit, I prefer favorites. So if you've never used collections, then once again, just turn that off. Now it does actually say, for this setting to take effect, restart your browser. So if that comes up, click on the word restart and let Edge restart. There you go. Collections has gone. Let's just go back down to the services section. And what have we got left? So we've got get notifications of related things you can explore with Discover. Well, again, I've never, ever used Discover. It's never appealed to me. So I turn that off. Let Microsoft Edge help keep your tabs organized. We offer suggestions on how to organize your tabs so that you can browse with ease. Well, again, I've never used this. So turn it off. It's all taking up resources, RAM, CPU, 
and in some cases data. So let's just click on appearance just there and scroll down to split screen. Now you have got an option up here for split screen. So if you wanted to, you could browse two websites at the same time. Let's just give you an example. So let's open that up, click on split screen, and then let's search for another website here. Say if I put BBC News in that website there, there you go. We got, got this split screen option, but again, I've never ever used that. So let's just turn it off. So go back to settings and like I say, make sure you're in appearance. If you're up the top, then just scroll down and keep scrolling down until you get to split screen. Turn it off and then click restart. It'll restart and as you can see, that's gone. Let's scroll up a little bit and what we need to do now is we need to go to this section just here. So select which buttons you wish to show on the toolbar. And here you've got the browser essentials button. Now that is just this up here. Have you ever been into that? Has it ever given you any good ideas? Maybe, but if it hasn't, then turn off browser essentials button and then that will get rid of that. Keep scrolling up a bit more and there you've got show workspaces. Now, have you ever used workspaces? It's up there. Probably not. If you haven't, again, turn it off. Another thing you've got up here is show tab preview on hover. So this is when you hover over a tab, it shows you a preview of the web page. Do you find that handy? If not, turn that off. Have you ever used this up here, the tab actions button? No, turn it off from there and that gets rid of that. What about the profile button just there? If you don't want that showing, then just turn both of these off there and then restart your browser. Now, the next thing we need to do is go into sidebar there. Have you ever used any of these on the side here? If you haven't, turn off always show sidebar just there and that gets rid of that. If we click on start home new tabs and then scroll down, we've got this here, preload your new tab page for a faster experience. Opens Microsoft new tab page in the background so you can get to it faster. The content on the new tab page may include cookies if you allow cookies. Well, you don't always want things preloading in the background. Again, it takes time, it takes CPU power, it takes RAM. So turn that off. Next, go down to system and performance. And this here, if we just scroll up to the top here, we've got startup boost. Now this says, Get to browsing quickly. When this is on, it helps Microsoft Edge open faster when you start your device. Now this is all well and good, but this means that Microsoft Edge always stays loaded in the background of your computer, ready for when you open it. Now, there may be times you're not gonna open it. So therefore, I would say if your computer's running slow, when you're doing other things on it, then turn off startup boost. And what that will do is when you close down Edge, it will completely close down Edge, freeing up resources for other applications. You've also got here continue running background extensions and apps when Microsoft Edge is closed. So if you don't need Edge's extensions running in the background, and most people don't, then again, turn that off. Now here under optimized performance, you've got here efficiency mode, helps minimize power usage by saving computer resources. So I would say leave that on. Improve your PC gaming experience with efficiency mode. Well, if you play games on your computer, then yeah, again, leave that on. If you don't, turn it off. Save resources with sleeping tabs. So if you've got loads of tabs open and you don't need them to be active, i.e. one of those tabs isn't your email or, or something that's got live data on it that you need to monitor, then leave that switched on. But if you do have things running in the background, these tabs at the top here, and you need live information on them, you don't want them to go to sleep, then turn that off. Fade sleeping tabs there. That just fades the tabs so that they uh, that you can tell which tabs are put to sleep and what ones aren't. You can leave that on. That's not going to cause any problems whatsoever. And if we scroll down a bit more, you've got their performance detector. It says when this is on, the browser detects tab performance issues and recommends an action to fix. So again, this is something, okay, where it's supposed to give you notifications on how you can manage the performance of Edge. It does take some CPU and processing power 
to detect performance issues. If you really don't feel you need to be notified about performance issues, then again, turn that off. So there we are. Hopefully there's a few tips and tricks to streamline Microsoft Edge and hopefully make things run a bit better and basically have less buttons, less pop ups on your screen. Well, I hope you like this video and if you did and if it helped, then please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. If you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of great links down there for you, including links to my Amazon shop, which is all things I love at the moment on Amazon. You've got VPNs, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV Q and fire stick accessories. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. Also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.